Hi, I am Maria Fekila. I am 23 years old. For the past years, I've been working in one of the company in Manila. And I also become a teacher aide since I am not yet a regular teacher. Through my work experience, I learned a lot from it. And it will lead me to pursue and move forward for my dreams. Moving forward, I hope to expand my experience across different industries, especially in your company. Thank you. In my last role as lead designer, there was a point in time when my team was short-staffed and facing a significant backlog of work. The account managers were setting unrealistic deadlines, which was causing stress for my team and affecting Moria. So as a team leader, it was my role not only to ensure my team met our deadlines but also to communicate bandwidth to other departments and keep my team motivated. I set up a formal creative request process including project timeline estimates to set better expectations. I scheduled weekly meetings with account managers to discuss my team's bandwidth and share progress updates. I also kept my team informed of the new processes so they could have some peace of mind knowing the issues were being addressed. By providing more transparency into my team's processes and setting better expectations with the account managers, we were able to reprioritize the design teams to do list and complete everything in our backlog. I took these learnings continued to apply this structure and as a result, in the following quarter, we shortened our average project timeline by two days. I also learned just how important it is to communicate clearly across teams. Sure. To give some context, during university, I had very limited financial aid and my parents couldn't help co-pay the rest of the tuition. So, while studying, I also had to work to pay for the university. At the same time, I also took up a lot of extracurricular activities to get as much professional work experience as possible before graduating. To keep up with the workload, I realized I had to manage my time efficiently. So, I set up Google Calendar and got a personal notepad for my daily tasks and responsibilities. Through hard work and dedication, I managed to balance studying, a part-time job, and all extracurricular activities. Yeah, sure, it was pretty tiring at times. But by the end of each day, I would always go over and edit my calendar for the rest of the week. This day, I knew pretty much everything I had to get done daily and never missed an assignment or a deadline either. In the end, I graduated with the passing grades, no student loans, and a personal design portfolio which landed me my first real job within a month of graduating. During my last job, I was managing the web dev team in charge of setting up an online e-commerce store for one of our clients. In hindsight, I was too ambitious with the project and overpromised the turnaround rate for the website. I told them we'd be done within two months as it seemed like a very cookie cutter project at that time. However, around two weeks into the project, we realized we were off by at least a month, as we would have to hand code a bunch of stuff that we thought was open source or sold as package plugins. So, I had to inform them about the issue, given an updated deadline for our team, and fix my mistake. After the meeting, they were understanding but not very happy. I then assembled our web developers and started working hard on the project the very next day. We focused 100% of our time on fixing the issue, outsourced some of the small tasks to save time, and ended up 
ended up fixing everything before the new deadline. In the end, their site was a success and I learned a valuable lesson on managing expectations. I realized that sometimes it's better to under-promise and over-deliver and learn how to better set and manage deadlines for my team. Yeah, during my internship, my team and I were supposed to work together and brainstorm new talent sourcing ideas for our client. The client was a large supermarket chain located in a very rural area, so they were struggling to source new talent. Basically, our task was to meet on a daily basis, brainstorm and finally settle on three great ideas. After a couple of meetings, we did have some ideas, but none of them were too exceptional. Some of my teammates wanted to just give up, say, well, here's our ideas, we don't have anything else, and be done with it. There was a lot of back and forth from, the, from there. The tensions were high and the team kept shutting down all the ideas we were proposing. The deadline was super close and had to figure out a way to move forward. So, I gave it to some thought and realized that we'd forever be in a deadlock if we continued like this. They wouldn't agree with theirs. So, we decided to bring in an unbiased third party who didn't um, have any emotional investment here. This really helped bring in something new to the table. The mediator helped sort through all the bad ideas as well as infusing the team with some new energy. We eventually then end up coming up with completely original ideas, which were also something we all agree upon. I always try to be calm and collected. Recently, when I was serving a customer behind the checkout, I had the customer shout at me for not being eligible for a refund. The customer was getting louder and there was a large line starting to form behind him. I had to remain calm, move the conflict somewhere else, and make sure the other customers could go about their purchases. I realized the best thing to do was to move the situation away from the cash register. I asked my colleague to take over for me so that I could talk to the customer one on one and better explain the situation. I explained that I could understand his frustration, but I made it clear that sales items were non refundable even though he had a receipt. In the end, he began to calm down and accepted my explanation. While he still wasn't happy about it, I managed to dissolve the situation before he made any more of a scene. I believe that by being calm and empathetic, it's possible to dissolve most such situations.